Hi, this is Kush from Creative Pad Photography and in this video I'll be showing you how four different mics sound and we'll be seeing which one should you go in for according to your needs. So let's start. So the four different mics that we're going to test in this video are the Blue Yeti, that's the first one. Then we've got the inbuilt microphone of the DSLR, which is something that you should avoid as we'll soon be seeing. And then we've got two lavalier mics. So one is from a cheap company. I'm, going, I'm not going to name it because ultimately I'm going to tell you not to buy this. Uh, and we've got an expensive, slightly more expensive a lavalier mic by Rode and this is the one that I'll be recommending to you so but for that let's see how these different microphones sound different and then how does that really make a difference when you're recording a video so right now my audio or the audio that you're hearing is sounding good that's because this is being recorded from this external mic which is the Blue Yeti this is slightly expensive it cost me a few years back it cost me around 15,000 rupees but then you get what you pay for and you can see that the voice is really good you re once you record from a Blue Yeti you really don't have to perform any sort of audio editing and you know you really don't have to mess up with audio it just sounds good so but the only downside to this is of course is the cost and the second factor is the portability so this is not really portable and then that denies you a bit of flexibility suppose if you want to shoot outdoors then it's, it's really tough to do it with this mic but if you just want a mic for indoor usage then I would really recommend you to go in for the Blue Yeti it's really nice now I'm quickly gonna switch my audio to the inbuilt microphone inside the DSLR and that is something that you just have to 100% avoid. So you can see right now the audio that you're hearing is coming from the inbuilt microphone inside the camera and this is a common mistake made by beginners. So they use this camera for recording video as well as audio. So this audio is required, you have to record it, but this will not be heard in your video. This is just, we just record that mainly for syncing purpose. That is something I'll just be talking about later on. But the bottom line is to not rely on the inbuilt microphone inside a DSLR. It just, first of all, it catches too much of ambient noise as you, uh, ambient noise as you can see right now. And secondly, it's too far away from you. So it just, you know it just doesn't sound good at all so you don't really have any control with it so that is something to avoid so my suggestion to you is uh, for you is to go for a lavalier mic because these are the most flexible mics where you can you know use them anywhere indoors outdoors you just have to clip them on your shirt and you're good to go and they produce really really good sound provided you buy the right lavalier microphone so here i have two of these uh, the one is very popular, I'm not going to name the company, but these are just the 1200 rupees, 1000 rupees labs you get from Amazon, basically the cheaper ones. And these come from a range of different manufacturers, but I would advise you not to go in for. And the reason for that is, let me just clip this on. So I put this here and then they're very convenient to use because all you have to do is you just have to, you know, you can just plug it in your smartphone and then you can use the any recording app i use an app called voice recorder but you can literally use any app and you're just good to go you just start recording so i'm just gonna hit record here and the audio that you're hearing right now this sounds better than the inbuilt mic of a dslr but it's still not very good that's because this lavalier microphone is slightly cheaper so this cannot obviously you cannot compare this to the blue yeti but it's slightly better than the inbuilt camera so if you're low on budget and you have a choice only between the inbuilt mic and a cheap lavalier of course you go for the cheap lav but it's not going to do too much for you because ultimately if you want this sound you know this to sound good you have to perform a lot of audio editing and that's not always easy if you're not experienced with it but now is the time to show you the mic that i really recommend i literally use this for all my videos and this is the rode smart lav plus which cost me around 5000 rupees i have put the link in the description of this video you can see it but you can see the moment i put this on the audio that you're hearing right now is coming from the rode smart lav plus and you can immediately see that this is way way better than the cheaper lavalier microphone that we just used so it definitely it's definitely a you get what you pay for scenario when it comes to microphones and what you have to remember is a lot of people when they go into video making they actually ignore the audio all the focus goes on the video but the audio is very very important if people don't like your audio or what what they're hearing if it has too much noise or the bass is not good they're gonna probably not even watch the video so do pay attention uh, you know to the microphone that you buy so I always suggest that you go for the slightly more expensive options rather than the 
cheaper option. So I hope uh, that this video made it clear to you that you should invest in a good microphone. I'll later on also be coming up with some audio editing tutorials so that you come to know how you can make even the natural voice that you record with these microphones, the good ones also, how you can make them even better. Right now, whatever you heard was straight from the microphone. There was no editing done to any of these recordings because I just wanted to give a comparison between these mics. So I hope you like this video. Do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.